Good afternoon. Three days after flash floods swept through several towns in Valencia, the initial shock was giving way to anger, frustration and a wave of solidarity this morning. Many streets are still blocked by piled up vehicles and debris, in some cases trapping residents in their homes. Some places still don't have electricity, running water or stable telephone connections. Residents turn to the media to appeal for help. This is a disaster. There are a lot of elderly people who don't have medicine. There are children who don't have food. We don't have milk. We don't have water. We have no access to anything, so a resident of Alfafa told State TV. Security forces and soldiers are searching for an unknown number of missing people, many feared still to be trapped in wrecked vehicles or flooded garages. Meanwhile, flood survivors and volunteers are beginning the titanic task of clearing an omnipresent layer of dense mud. Residents in the communities like Paya Porta have been walking miles to Valencia to get provisions. The mayor of Alfafa, one of the hardest hit towns, said the aid is not nearly enough for residents trapped in an extreme situation. There are people living with corpses in their homes. We are organising ourselves, but we are running out of everything, he said. Scientists link the storm to climate change, which is also behind increasingly high temperatures and droughts and the heating up of the Mediterranean Sea. Residents of Mallorca are currently bracing for the worst today after the weather service warned the brutal weather system that hit Valencia was headed for the island. AMET declared that parts of Mallorca could be battered with up to 120 millimetres of water in just three to four hours today. Officials in Parma have instituted serious weather warnings that came into force at 10am local time today and will last through the weekend with many public spaces closed. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has officially declared Valencia and its surrounding areas disaster zones. This designation allows for the rapid mobilisation of resources and immediate federal support for affected areas. Sanchez highlighted the government's strategy of absolute cooperation with regional officials to maintain stability and public safety. The emergency efforts are focused on locating missing persons, stabilising waterlogged infrastructure and supporting citizens who remain in high-risk areas. Sanchez also stressed the need for residents to remain vigilant and avoid travel unless absolute necessary. And in other news, the National Police have detained two high-profile fugitives in separate operations. One, a highly dangerous individual wanted by the French authorities, and the other, a member of the Dominican Don't Play Gang. The arrests highlight Spain's commitment to international cooperation on law enforcement and its strategy to curb organised crime domestically, so a police statement said. Now, it's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.